You hear that? That's the awkward silence of a family dinner after you just got caught vaping. Most vapes contain high levels of nicotine and disappointment. <sighs> Brought to you by The Real Cost and the FDA. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. In today's episode, sad news with Grand Theft Auto. It looks like it's getting delayed. Or actually, no. Uh, or no, I, no. actually, I take back what I was going to previously say. But I'm going to say what I think I was originally going to Regardless, Grand Theft Auto 5... Uh, the new edition, whatever it's supposed to be called, has been delayed. And then it looks like Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be delayed too. I guess they pushed back both dates. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto um, 5 was supposed to release at the end of the year, like for the next gen consoles. And they showed a photo of, I guess, how it's supposed to look, like a preview. It, bro, it doesn't look like nothing has changed. That's what upsets me about it, is that you guys are blowing this up, like, making it seem like, oh, you guys gonna have the same, like, feedback, like, when how when Grant That Follow 5 was originally getting released, like, it's gonna be the same thing. No, it's not. It is not. You, this is, bro, the fact that you guys have released this game back in 2013, 2013, and the fact that you guys are even delaying stuff of it now, like Rockstar Games, because not, and people, I don't want them to get confused with Rockstar Energy and Rock, separate companies, but Rockstar Games, what is the problem? Like, you guys stay delaying stuff, and for what? Like, my thing is, like, what, because even, all right, even before the, you know, pandemic and all of that stuff, like, when the game, all right, yeah, when the game originally released, 2013, um, the, uh, COVID wasn't out back then, what was the whole reason of that game getting, that game, I think they say it was supposed to, I remember it said it was supposed to come out in 2012, and then they delayed it, supposed to come out in the beginning of 2013, delayed it again, then it ended up coming out in September of 2013, and I remember that because there was this one YouTuber I watched named Michael Green, he did this video where he was going off about that, and I'm like, fam, you guys was doing that, that's why I remember when they had said that i didn't even care because i was like okay you you guys have been doing this for i don't know how long so it, it it doesn't even matter to me anymore i'm like if the game releases it does if it doesn't i don't care so my thing is and i guess like you know it does make sense because i don't want them to have like no cyberpunk 2077 stuff but i'm like you guys ain't like what is y'all doing you mean to tell me you blew up the fact how you guys worked all these hours on red day redemption 2 i remember that was one of the first things that came out after that game had got released was that they spent hundreds of hours a week working on that game so explain to me you guys had worked that many hours okay focusing on this game and like what still ain't did nothing with it it yeah it's a big open world interactive like game but at the same time like what is there to do in that game? I played that game. I played a little bit of it. I was like, you know, going through a phase on my streams where I was playing that game actually often. But after a while, it was like, okay, I'm only doing the same stuff. It ain't like nothing is really like they're not adding no new um like uh missions. They're not doing anything with the map. They're not changing. Like it's the same old, same old. And then it seems like, it, yeah, also it takes forever to, like, load up stuff in there. Because, for one, people ain't even really playing Red Dead Redemption anymore. That game is dead, bro. That game is dead. The times I played that game, fam, I came across people in that game. And we would legit, like, wave at each other and go about it. Right? Because it's like, okay, like, the re and I feel like the reason why, because it's like, oh... You're probably one of those people that's like, oh, you're just playing the game just to see what's going on with it and stuff. So I'm like, one time opportunity, you know, just wave at them. I wave back and then we don't went about our business. But I'm like, fam, that's sad. That is sad. And you guys are still focused on Grand Theft Auto Five and still ain't did nothing um, that's fun with that game. I, the, I remember, I think it was right after they had released that Tron Legacy like bike DLC that's when I just gave up on Grand Theft Auto V. I gave up on that game. I didn't care for playing it. I didn't care for playing the new heist mission. I don't care for nothing involving that game. Like, you need to put that game. And the fact that you guys had came out, and I was talking about that in my stream. You guys came out with Grand Theft Auto San Andreas in 24, or 2014, 2004. 
Four years later, you stepped it up to Grand Theft Auto 4. And then, what? All right, so 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, five years later. There, it's, bro, it's going, so 2013, okay? Uh, 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, all right? 22, nine years? Nine, and the, the crazy thing about it, that's nine years just to come out with the, uh, like, the newer version for the next console. So you mean to tell me it's going to take you guys 10 plus years to come out? Grand Theft Auto 6, I'm telling you, if that game don't hit like how Grand Theft Auto 4 and 5 did when it very first came out, if Grand Theft Auto 6 comes out and that game ain't hitting, that game ain't even a game worth playing, I will never ever in my life support a Rockstar game again. Ever in my life. Because I'm like, okay, I'm, I would imagine, all right, you guys is like... This game is going to be huge. Like, the amount of times you're delaying it, the amount of time. Because I'm saying, when Red Dead Redemption and after six, Grand Theft Auto 6 come out, I better not see no updates, nothing with Grand Theft Auto 5. Because I'm like, that, once when Grand Theft Auto 6 comes out, 5 is done. Hang up the door, close the door, hang up the gloves, do whatever you need to do to just, that game is done. Stop focusing on it. Now it's the, like, you guys at the end of the day should have been focusing on Red Dead Redemption, if we're going to truthfully be honest. Like, y'all have done everything that you need to do in uh, Grand Theft Auto V. What else is there to do in that game? Like, you added the heist missions, you added the casino, you've added everything. Like, what? What are you guys, like, going to build up them two buildings that's been in construction since the game came out? Is that, like, going to be the, uh, the next big update? I'm saying, like, at the end of the day, like, bro, we we need something newer. So I'm saying, like, if this new, like, remaster, not remaster, but this, like, new remodeling of Grand Theft Auto V for the next-gen consoles, I'm saying, if that don't hit, if I play that, and it's like, well, what is the special deal? What's the special occasion? I ain't got no desires on playing Grand Theft Auto V whatsoever. I don't. I'm like, I tried playing that game, and every time when I did play that game, it was only for the casino, just to do the daily spin thing and get a car. But half of the time, they would only, not half, majority of the time, they would just give me t-shirts. And occasionally, like, what, a, a, a few thousand coins. I'm like, bro, that ain't even fun. Like, why you guys got t-shirts on this wheel anyways? Like, I'm saying, like, imagine, imagine, my thing is this, imagine being on the TV show Wheel of Fortune, you spin and land on a t-shirt. And they're all like, oh, you want a Will of Fortune team? You'd be mad, right? I, anybody would be mad. Versus they got like, what, $5,000, million, dollars, cars, houses, all this other stuff. And I'm like, trips and all these other things. You land on the wheel and you get a t-shirt or a hundred, not even a hundred dollars, one dollar. You have been mad. So I'm saying like stuff like that. I'm like, bro, what you need to do with Grand Theft Auto V, okay, come out with some new maps, all right? Have it where you can play on those maps like the snowing map. Or, or that new map. But I guess they said with that new map, I don't know. I haven't played the new heist missions yet, so I don't really know too much about this new map. But from what I heard, you can't explore the whole map. You only can explore, like, the dancing area. And I was like, once when I heard that, I was like, Brian got no desires on playing that game. None whatsoever. But I'm like, that game, I'm just saying, like, you know, you guys can do so much with that game where you can have storylines. You can have... Uh, like new um, mini games to play. There's so many different things that you guys can do. I just feel like at this point, y'all is just slacking. Like y'all ain't even like, don't even care for that game. You're just releasing whatever at this point. And it's like, bro, like nah, it, you guys gotta be strategic with what you're gonna release and hopefully it hits. But I'm like, man, I've seen all this stuff with uh, Rockstar Games. I'm like, man, you guys must not want people to play. And I'm saying, like, you guys, because I, I guess that's what they are going to do at the end of the year. Hold on for a second. Let me see uh, uh, GTA Trilogy Remaster come in. Oh, that would be kind of sick if the uh, remastered... Um, GTA, like the trilogy, is going to come out on a Nintendo Switch. The like Red Dead Redemption 2 will most likely come out before Red Dead Redemption 1 Remastered. They're coming out with a remastered Red Dead Redemption 1? Huh. That's crazy. Uh, leaked trilogy release date as early as late 2021. 
That's so confusing. As early as late 2021. I don't even like I that's like it's like that Squidward meme where he's like looking back and forth and things because I'm like, what as early as late? I don't even get that. That hurts my brain. So, but um, I mean, yeah, if they do come out with that at the end of the year, I guess that that would make me like Rockstar Games a little bit more. I'm like, you, you know, you're giving us something. But if not, and then that ends up because I, I have a feeling they're gonna be like, oh, um, that's gonna get delayed too. So on top of five getting delayed, on top of six getting delayed, this new, this next gen five getting, um, delayed, and then the rematch, like, do you want people to play the games? I'm saying throughout this time, okay, because I'm saying, if you guys are going to take that much time to come out with Grand Theft Auto 6, you guys going to have to come out with some games in the middle. You are. Like, I don't, I, bro, I don't know, a Midnight Club, uh, freaking, what else, uh, Max Payne, uh, what other games? I know. I remember. I seen that somewhere. Somebody was like they wanted to get a remastered version of the Warriors, uh, or the Warrior. It was Warriors, Warriors, same thing. But anyways, they wanted a um, remastered version of that. But I'm like, there's so many of your classic games that you guys can remaster. Let, let Let's just see some of the Rockstar games uh, that them guys then release. Because I'm like, fam, you guys, man, y'all is just like clowning with people. L.A. Noir, you guys could come out with a part two of that. And I'm like, it could be like, bruh, I'm, oh my, like, bro, the amount of games, okay, that you guys can work on, I'm, man, it hurts, it hurts me because I'm like, I, list the Rockstar games, okay, um, they did a Monster Truck game, alright, you guys can do that, uh, so yeah, they are talking about, like, remastering, um, Grant that Follow 3, Vice Cities, and, um, San Andreas, so if they do do that, okay, do that, please, but don't, you know, do no stuff where it's like, oh, we just gonna delay that and stuff, no, release that game, they even came out with some Austin Power games, that is wild, I did not know that they came out with this many games, Max Payne, you guys can definitely either remaster or come out with a newer version of Max Payne during the time when it's like, oh, Grand Theft Auto 6, and you can even add it in Grand Theft, my thing is this, because you made Grand Theft Auto 5 into this big, huge game, why not do no, like, a uh, Max Payne DLC, where it's like the physics that they had in Max Payne, like, that's in Grand Theft Auto, imagine, like, jumping off of a building or, you know, doing something, slamming onto a car and just shoot. But I'm like, bro, it has to, I'm telling you, it has to, you guys are going to have to do something with it. But a Max Payne, um, you know, remaster. Midnight Club 2, or the uh, freaking 2, 3, uh, even the Los Angeles ones. You guys can do so many. You guys can even remaster those games. Or even come out with a newer version. Come out with like a Midnight Club um, online. Bro, do you understand how fun that would be? Do you understand how fun that would be? A Midnight Club game online free or maybe have it people pay for it but i feel like it's gonna you know it, it's gonna have to be free but you guys i'm saying like come out with a midnight club theory or a midnight club uh game uh manhunt i remember this game being big remaster that uh what other games uh the warriors okay so it was um the warriors it wasn't just the warrior but the warriors yeah you guys can remaster that a uh, bully. I'm saying people have been asking for a bully sequel for years. So I'm like, if you guys don't come out with a bully sequel, y'all don't even care anymore. But I'm saying you guys can do that. Uh, I mean, if you guys want to do something with Grand Theft Auto 4, like, I feel like that that game is already classic enough. Like, you've done everything you need to do with that. So if you want to, you could do that. Uh, oh yeah, they did come out with that, um, that one game, uh, Beaterator, and that was like, uh, um, uh, it was like a, um, a music production, uh, thing. Y'all can even do that, I'm saying, come out with, like, the, I'm telling you, the amount of music that a person can make, if they were to come out with a, a newer beer, um, Beaterator game, I right, bro, I'm getting right back into making music, I'm hitting that stuff like it's the studio, like, if they come out with that, like, on the Xbox, you can, like, create your music off it bro that would hit okay that would definitely hit uh undead nightmare i don't know why you guys ain't did that with red dead redemption 2 i'm like bro that zombie mode in uh red dead redemption um was like that game that what's made that game that game was uh fun when they added that zombie mode la nor uh max Payne 3 uh what other stuff have they done red dead online 
agent. Wait, what? Why is this game? They talking about PlayStation 3? What? Why is they coming out with a game on the PlayStation 3? Nah, uh-uh. It's a stealth action game developed by Rockstar Nor. Originally announced for PlayStation 3. Game is set to take place in the 1970s Cold War setting. Agent is tested in July 2007. Formally announced in June 2019. Charmander for the game style is renewed in 2013 and 2017. And abandoned by 2018. Hold on for a second. Let me look this up. Because I'm like, I know for a fact they ain't going to come out with no game on no PlayStation 3. I'm like, bruh, this game, this game is, no. Like, y'all ain't even need to unrelease game. Y'all don't think that game's getting released. They're like Rockstar's agent in 2021. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe that game is releasing it. They talking about, oh, it's going to come out on the PlayStation 3. It's like, who has a PlayStation 3? Who will honestly bring a dusty PlayStation 3 out just to play that game? I'm like, nah, y'all better stop playing with people, but... Anyways, I'm like, yeah, Rockstar Games, you guys gonna have to work on some stuff, man, because what y'all got going on now, it's just not it, so, but anyways, I will talk to you guys later, thank you guys for watching and or listening, if you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe, and if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe at Red Setup, make sure you subscribe to one of my 36 YouTube channels, follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram at TMOSBOSS, and make sure, Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, Instagram. Okay, I said I said I need to say. Um at T Moss Boss. And make sure you follow my Facebook page at T Moss Boss fan page. Also, if you're purchasing any tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code T Moss Boss and then we'll knock twenty dollars off your next purchase. And if you're um buying anything off of Epics Games, make sure you use my supporter creator code T Moss Boss. And yeah, in the meantime, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening and peace.